Hi there. Welcome to my channel English with Mamun Ali. Today I'm here to talk about class 6 EFT lesson 28 buying clothes. So get your book, get your notebook to put down your important things and get your marker, pen, pencil or highlighter what we need. Now get started. Lesson 28 buying clothes. After completing the lesson, students will be able. Uh, before starting my class, I will like to tell you something. Today, uh, in this class, we are going to learn how to make a dialogue, how to make a conversation with someone. Then we are going to uh, read aloud the passage uh, uh, dialogue etc. Then we are going to solve out the exercises. Then at the last, we are going to talk about some uh, grammatical patterns that have been used in this lesson. Then we will talk about some vocabularies or some expressions or some uh, yes expressions that have been used in this lesson. Okay, now get started. I'm going to read it aloud. Lesson 28 Buying Clothes. After completing the lesson, students will be able to ask and answer questions, read and understand texts. A. Match the words with the pictures of clothes. So I'm going to tell you the answer. 1. Punjabi. 2. Jacket. 3. Shorts. Four, polo t-shirt, polo, sorry, polo, then five, t-shirt, then six, frock or dress, then seven, salwar kameez, then eight, jeans, nine, sari, then ten, trousers, then eleven, um, shoes then 12 blouse or top now b in pairs discuss the following questions about you have you ever been to a clothes shop that man have you ever been man kokhono giyecho tumi kokhono clothes shop e giyecho have you ever been to a clothes shop if your answer is yes you can tell yes i have ever been to a clothes shop or if you didn't go there you can tell no i never sorry yes i have never been to a clothes shop i have never been to a clothes shop next one if no then who buys your clothes if you didn't go to a clothes shop yet then who buys your clothes my parents buys sorry my parents buy my clothes my parents buy my clothes or my mother buys my clothes or my father buys my clothes etc okay next if yes then who did you go with to the clothes shop if you uh, have ever been to uh, ever been to clothes shop, then who did you go with? Go with my kashade gye chile. So you can tell I went with my parents to the clothes shop. To the clothes shop. Then which new clothes would you like to buy right now? Kun kabur tumi akun kinte chao. Okay. Would like? जो हमरा कोनो किसी किंतु चाहे इच्छा पोषण करी तो खुन हमरा would like to दे प्रकाश करते पारी। So with new clothes, would you like to buy right now? I would like to buy a Punjabi. I would like to buy right now a Punjabi. Or you can tell, I would like to buy a Punjabi right now. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red and blue. 
my favorite color is black my favorite color is yellow whatever it is it is up to you go to the next page page 86 see mrs urmila khorim is going to buy some clothes for her son imran they are now at a clothes shop read the conversation between imran and the shop assistant imran excuse me what are the polo shirts assistant they are over there in the boys section let me show you imran thanks do you have one without a chain assistant yes quite a few sir what size do you wear imran may i be maybe a medium assistant here you are this one is in medium size imran a medium but it's too big assistant how about this this is small imran yeah i think this size is okay do you have it in a different color assistant what color would you like imran blue i guess assistant just a moment please i'll check how about this one it's a nice sky blue imran yes this is a nice color can i try this one assistant sure this try room sorry the trial room is at the back the trial room is at the back imran thank you it's just perfect how much is it assistant it's taka 300 This shirt is on sale this week. Imran, mom, can I buy this one? Mom, sure, dear. Shall we go and pay at the cash counter? Then, yes, mom. Uh, sorry, salesman. Yes, ma'am. Would you follow me, please? Okay, it is a short form of madam, ma'am. Now see on complete the sentences using the words from the conversation in B we have to fill in the blanks according to our dialogue above now one imran doesn't like polo shirts with a with a chain then two a dash size shirts fits imran perfectly a small size shorts a small size short fits imran perfectly two will be small then three the short that imran chose finally is sky blue in color and so will be sky blue he wants to try the polo short on before buying it and so will be try then five the polo short that imran likes is on sale this week and so will be sale then c2 look at the useful expression that imran uses at the shop use the words below is in complete sentence to make a complete sentence excuse me what are the polo shirts excuse me what are the trousers excuse me what are the socks or where are the shoes you can use everyone to make a complete sentence then do two do you have the kinds without buttons do you have the kinds without lace do you have the kinds without hooks do you have this uh do you have these in a different color do you have this in diff in a different size do you have this in a different design how much is this how much are these how much is the short how much are these socks how much are the trousers etc okay then d read the conversations between mrs urmila karim and imran which clothes do they choose take the correct picture for each conversation dialogue one mrs karim look at these jeans imran no mom this is too narrow i want some baggy ones that's why 
if it is narrow we have to cut a mean square in flat you mean uh imran no that means we have to cut b sorry i'm going to read uh, it again uh, miss karim look at this jeans imran no ma no mom that's too narrow i want some baggy ones that means b is cut b is given up then i want some baggy ones mrs karim flat you mean no not flat that means a is cut a is not the answer then just baggy you know loose fitting with pockets on the sides so it should be c answer then c is correct then dialog 2 uh mrs karim i need some shoes imran how about these mrs karim no the heels are too high that means a is cut a is given up a hobe na pore jai mrs uh, imran do you want flat shoes then no not flat something in between that means c hobe na c is cut the answer will be b uh, something in between a bit of heel but not too high answer will be b the dialogue three mrs karim what about this t-shirt imran imran no mom no mom i don't like the cartoon on the front that means a a will be cut a answer hobe na kete dao mrs urmila well what about that one with writings on the chest no i don't really like that either that means lekha ache upore tale b o cut b o bad jabe i want something completely plain like this on no writings just plain the answer will be c dialogue 4 imran i need to buy a shirt too mrs korim look this shirt has nice prints imran mom this print goes better with girls i want something more formal i want something more formal that means c will be cut c and sahabana c kete dao mrs karim then what about this one with stripes imran no it is too boring look at this shirt with checks this looks nice that means b o cut b o hobe na uh answer hobe tahole a mrs karim yes that's much better well take it then answer will be a now d on practice the dialogues with a partner remember uh, dialogue 1 2 3 4 you can practice yourselves for uh, your spoken english for dialogues okay teacher can ask you to make some dialogues using those topics so if you can blow your eyes if you can get some idea about them it will be better for you okay and uh, uh, what about then section c Uh, you can study section c for dialogue it could be appeared in your exam as a dialogue and if you could use them use those expressions in your spoken english your spoken or your speaking skill would be improved what about c2 section c2 section we have learned some expressions that could be used in our daily conversations that could be used in our spoken english even that could be used in our making dialogue so you would be benefited in writing something in your exam copy then E I'm going to read it aloud E fill in the blanks in the following sentences with words from the box below try size wearing cheaper flat shorts match fit suit 1 I have gained so much weight weight so much weight my clothes do not fit me anymore one will be fit then two I never wore red it doesn't dash me it doesn't suit me tool be suit then three you have got a nice blue top you just need a pair of sky jeans to match it three will be match four I'd like to try this dress on please four a will be try 
Then B, show this, the trial room is over there. Then 5, I like this jacket, but it is too small. Have you got it in a, a bigger size? 5 will be size. Then 6, what are you wearing to the function tonight? What are you wearing to the function tonight? And so I'll be wearing. Then 7, these heels are too high. I'm looking for some flat shoes. And so will be flat, 7 flat. Then 8, I like that dress, but it is too expensive. I want something like that, but cheaper. 8, and so will be cheaper. Cheaper. Then I think I need a pair of shorts for my trip to Cox's Bazaar. 9, and so will be shorts. They are always good for going to, going to the beach. Going to the beach. Okay guys, before finishing my uh, lecture, I would like to uh, make another video uh, about this lesson. So, uh, see you in my next video. In my next video, I will talk about grammatical uses in this lesson. Then I will talk about uh, uh, vocabularies and the uses of those vocabularies in this lesson and i will talk about some uh, expressions that could be used in our conversation or, or in our spoken english so see you guys stay tuned and see you in my next video bye bye